Hi you guys, I'm back. Yeah, I'm back sooner than what I'm supposed to be back home for. Um, for the record, I bruised my ACL. So yeah, they sent me home for four months to heal and then I have to go back. Yeah, I know it sucks, but hey, whatever. At least I get to come back because they sending people home left and right and they can't come back. So I'm grateful for that. But anywho, um, yeah, this is mainly going to be a video about my basic training I had so far. I made it to the seventh week and I hurt myself. So mainly I pretty much went through the whole thing. The only thing I had left that I did not do was the 10 mile march. But everything else I went through. So, yeah. Um, oh, to start off, they switched my basic training the day before I left. So, I actually got sent to Fort Jackson. So, sorry, you guys, if you're going to Fort Seals and you thought I was going to Fort Seals, too. I did, too, until the day before I shipped out. I found out I was going to Fort Jackson. But, anyway, it's all good. Um, basic training wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Um, my advice is to continue running, continue to run and continue to exercise because you are really going to be exercising. Yeah, pretty much going to be exercising everywhere you go because you're going to be walking everywhere you go. Um, the first phase was called red phase. Everybody should know red phase was horrible. It was everybody, everybody that says it's horrible. It was horrible. Okay. Um, pause, rewind back to reception. Reception was the worst. It was hell. I literally did not sleep for three days. 72 hours, I, no sleep. Not sitting down, couldn't eat, could nothing. No sleep whatsoever for three days of reception. Reception was hell. Hell. Um, then after like three or four days of reception, they put you on the bus and they ship you to basic training. You pretty much just riding a bus to the further part where basic training actually goes on. Um, I was on the front of the bus, very front, so I was the first person off the bus. So I got the first experience of the shark attack. So yeah, that was a little, um, it's a little touching. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was crazy. It was, it's all that what you expect. That's all I got to say yelling screaming hollering in your ear 24 7 for a whole two weeks pretty much they pretty much call you any name in the book make you do any and everything they think of you to do now they can't touch you they can't touch you but they sure as hell make it seem like they you know they 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 put so much fear in your heart but the whole thing is to break down the civilian in you to bring out a good soldier but the way they go about doing it it is no joke so um don't go out there trying to be a smart ass because they kick you out um or you'll get an article 15 which they'll take your pay don't go out there act like you know everything you know just go 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 out there with you know knowing you go out there preparing for the worst and also embrace the suck one of the one of my battles she said that and it, it's very true she just said just embrace the suck because you literally have to embrace the suck um if you can get through the first two weeks then you can get through the whole thing the first two weeks was the worst two weeks of my entire life it's pretty much drill sergeants in your face um 24 7 until you get up from the time you get up to the time you go to sleep and even when you sleep they still fuck with you when you sleep excuse my french they still mess with you when you sleep um we got woken up a couple of times in the middle of the night, like at 2 o'clock in the morning, yelling and screaming at us, really, like making us do push-ups, throwing stuff around. It was craziness. Um, Then after that is white phase. White phase is they back off of you just a tad bit, but not as much, but they give you a little bit more freedom. Like you can ride the bus to certain places. And that's pretty much it. Um, white phase wasn't that bad. White phase, they back, they ease off a little bit. And um, when you go to the DFAC, well, you go to the cafeteria, you'll learn what the DFAC is. Pretty much the military cafeteria. Um, the red phase, 
when um when you're going to go eat they're yelling at you the entire time telling you to hurry up eat your food hurry up and get your food you move too slow this is net the whole time um white face they're not like that they, they're not yelling at you the whole time you eat um as long as you eat in a timely manner and get out then they're not gonna yell at you um blue face a breeze as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do on time where you're supposed to be where and when you're supposed to be there then you don't hear from them at all blue phase is only one drill sergeant per platoon when you start off it's three three drill sergeants per platoon so by the time you get the blue phase it's only one one drill sergeant so that's already tell you that you know they ease they back up all the way they ease up a little bit so do know it does get better but just get ready to embrace the suck um get ready to live with from 40 to 60 other females that's crazy um get ready to see us for your stuff to get stolen because they do steal <laughs> um put your initials in every single thing that you can except for it's like two certain things you not supposed to put your initials in but put your initials in everything else that you able to put your initials in even your underwear yes it's that serious even your underwear put your initials in your underwear because they will steal everything um what else Oh, that whole packing list before you go to the military, that's a bunch of bull. Um, I was literally toting around an extra bag of stuff that I didn't even need to bring. Everything that they tell you to pack, you pretty much bring it with you. No, I'm sorry. Everything they tell you to pack, pretty much once you get there, they give you this $350 card. And you go buy everything that you was told to pack. So you pretty much... Toting around two times as much stuff of what you're supposed to be for no reason. So, packing list pack probably uh, two or three days worth of underwear, one outfit, your toiletry stuff like, you know, your toothbrush, toothpaste, hair products. Other than that, that's it. Don't pack no seven pairs of this, seven pairs of that. Uh-uh. Oh, and a sports bar, like two pairs of sports bar because they make you buy like ten pairs once you get there. So, no, nah, pack light, pack lightly, light as you can. Um, what else? I think that's it. Continue to exercise, 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 exercise. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, hair, my African American sisters. That hairstyle I had when I left lasted all but like four weeks. Um, micros, it's okay to wear. It is okay to wear. As long as you can put it in a small bun and it's not, it's not covering your last name or your cover, then you're fine. Now, if you got those micros or those big braids where you got this big old bun, they're going to make you take that out. That's the thing. If you can put it into a small bun, braids into a small bun, then you okay. But if you get braids and your bun is huge or big to the point where, it, you know, you know when that bun is too big, they're going to make you take it out as soon as you get there. So, that's some good advice about hair. You can get micros. You can get um, individuals. Just make sure that bun is small. Okay. Um, I think that's all I have. Do you have any other questions? comment down which i know y'all it it was um it was an experience at least i know when i go back i don't really have to start over from the whole thing i start from white face but yeah it was an experience um comment if you have any other questions bye